you actually travel around South Africa visiting celebrities. Yes, and, as part of the show. And, and, and magic for them. Yes, not just, um, just, not just celebrities, yeah. but we also include the street magic element of the show. Mm -hmm. So we, su we surprise people on the street, literally. They, they have no idea what's going, going on. I go up to them, I introduce myself, I tell them you're shooting a show, and I perform some magic for, for them. Tell me about the best reaction you've had from someone on the street. I've had people, <laughs> it's, it's, it's range day. Some people, when they see cameras, they get very reserved. They don't want to, they're, they're inhibited. But some people are just like, you know, they use um, um, words like, ah, can't deal, can't deal. And they, <laughs> and they walk. That's I such, just can't deal. Yeah, yeah exactly. I can't deal. Uh, exactly. And, and they walk away. Some people come back going, OMG, you know, how did you do that? And things like that. But whatever the, 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 the reactions, it's all about creating astonishment and wonder. And this is why I perform magic. I believe it or not, by qualification, I'm an engineer. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So you studied engineering. Yes, I have You're a qualified engineer. Yes, a qualified uh, honors degree graduate. I worked in the automotive industry as a project manager. And uh, after six and a half years, I decided it was time to pursue my magic on a full-time basis. So um, in 2010, I resigned uh, to focus my energy and my attention on my magic. And it's been an amazing journey thus far. When did you start doing magic? I'm glad you asked that question. <laughs> um, most magicians, I mean, if you ask most magicians, they'd say when they were six or seven. But magic for me really started at university 13 years ago. Wow. There I was a campus student, and I was questioning a lot about uh, things in my life, my purpose, my path. And I began attending personal development classes. And one night I made an intention. I said, I would like to find my calling, my purpose, something that, that, uh, um, that fires me up, you know, that excites me. And very soon thereafter, a friend and I were sitting we, at his flat. We were working on our, on our design project. And after a while, he said, Mo, put the TV on, I'll put the kettle on. And Jennifer, you wouldn't believe it. I saw David Blaine that night. And whilst I had seen him a few years prior, that night I felt something inside of me shift. Mm -hmm. I knew, it was a knowing, I knew there and then that this is what I wanted to do, to share astonishment and wonder with people. Little did I know that it would come to this extent yeah. that we're traveling the world and sharing this with people, but it's been phenomenal, and I'm just so thankful for the TV opportunity. Now, uh, it's funny you mentioned David Blaine, because when you hear about a magician on TV, you immediately think David Blaine, these crazy stunts, these yeah. out, of this out of this world stunts. Um, are you going to be doing anything like that? Yes, I am. Uh, uh, when people heard, they were quite surprised. Um, but I think in terms of the art of magic, uh, I wanted to share uh, various elements and various genres of magic. So uh, the first episode that aired on Saturday featured uh, me performing the blindfold drive. So I took two celebrities. One was DJ Tira and the other one was uh, Carbonina, uh, very well known in Isidingo, one of the actresses. She's also an, um, an accomplished choreographer. So I took both of them to the racetrack and um, put, put a pair of blindfolds over them and a bag. And they saw that you know, they couldn't see through it. And then I took the same blindfold and bag, put it over my head, and took them for a, for a high adrenaline uh, ride on the, or should I say high adrenaline drive on the racetrack. And, uh, I can just say I wouldn't go into a car with you with a blindfold and a bag over your head. I, I wouldn't blame you. I wouldn't go into <laughs> that with somebody as well. But um, yeah, uh, the reactions were phenomenal. I mean, you could hear them screaming. And even we had such wonderful footage. And, and it all aired on the show. And a lot of times people think that um, things are staged for TV and things like that. They had no idea. In fact, when I invited them on, I didn't tell them what was going to happen. And I'm just so thankful that they, they trusted me and, and they went through it. But um, I mean, the reactions were just fantastic. I'm really excited to see what, what comes next on your show. Now, the show is on SABC3 yeah. until January. Yes. What are you doing after that? Well, for now, I'm just uh, focusing on, on enjoying, enjoying this all. Yeah. Uh, it's quite surreal and very um, exciting because this project has been a dream of mine for about 10 years. Mm. And I'm just so happy to be able to share this with South Africans. Um, but on the proverbial cards, I have a theater show planned. So um, people watch me every week, and I would like for people to be able to see me live. So mm. I'm planning a nationwide theater show. So skeptics out there, if you think it's all camera tricks, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. come and see the show when it's announced. And uh, yeah, I'm, um, I'm available on social media, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. So um, yeah. Mo, it's been so great having you in here. Won't you do a trick to take us out of this show? I have you a few notes. Mm -hmm. 
That's 50, 100, 150, 200. So that's 200 Rand there. All right. Would you have a look at that? Make sure it's legit for me. It's real? Yep. Okay, yep. That's Great. Good, yep. Now, if I could do you absolutely the other ones. yes, oh, I love it. Suddenly, <laughs> suddenly we have trust issues yes, here. Yes. yes. <laughs> if I could do absolutely anything with these fifties besides giving them away, what would impress you? Besides giving them away. Yeah, because most people say give them away. Yeah. Okay. Um, make them disappear. That's giving them away. Okay. Yeah. Um, make them turn into a different kind of money. Okay. I like that. I, li <laughs> I like the I, I like the way you think. Okay. So watch the fifties. Yes. All watch right. the fifties change. At no man. My fingertips. There you go. There you go. Oh, speechless. <laughs> <She's> speechless. <laughs> High five for that. Mo, well, thank you so much for coming in. Only a pleasure. Thanks for having me. Do I get to keep this? If you'd like. <laughs> <laughs>